Politics of Haiti The politics of Haiti take place in the framework of a unitary semi-presidential republic, where the president is the head of state and the prime minister is head of government. The politics of the country are considered historically unstable due to various coup d'etats, regime changes, military juntas and internal conflicts. After the deposition of Jean Bertrand Aristide, however, Haitian politics entered a period of relative democratic stability. The Economist Intelligence Unit has rated Haiti as hybrid regime in 2016. On February 29, 2004, a coup d'état led by the group of 184 ousted the popularly elected president, Jean Bertrand Aristide, allegedly with the assistance of French and United States governments. U.S. and French soldiers were on the ground in Haiti at the time, recently arrived, see controversy. The first election since the overthrow were held on February 8, 2006 to elect a new president. René Préval was declared to have won with over 50% off the vote. In 2008, Parliament voted to dismiss President Préval's prime minister following severe rioting over food prices. His selected replacement for the post was rejected by Parliament, throwing the country into a prolonged period without a government. Evo Neptune was appointed prime minister on March 4, 2002. But following the overthrow of the government in February 2004, he was replaced by an interim prime minister, Gerard Latortue. The constitutional prime minister, Ivo Neptune languished in jail for over a year, accused of complicity in an alleged massacre in Sunmark. United Nations officials, expressing skepticism towards the evidence, called for either due process or his release. Having entered custody in June 2004, Neptune was formally charged on September 20, 2005 but was never sent to trial. He was finally released on July 28, 2006. The last prime minister, Jacques-Edouard Alexis, entered office in 2006 and was removed in April 2008. Michel Pierre-Louis received approval to become the next prime minister from both houses in July. In 2011, singer Michel Martelly was elected the president of Haiti and sworn into office after René Préval completed his term. His regime is rated by some as free and by some as authoritarian. He is expected to complete his term in 2016. In 2013, Haiti ranked number 8 in the Fragile States Index. An election had been held, awaiting for runoff. The election was censured by the Haitian public and medias as not free and controlled. According to an exit poll conducted by Haitian Sentinel, only 6% of the voters voted for Jovenel Moise. The other presidential runoff candidate, Jude Celestin, expressed his disapproval towards the lack of transparency of the CEP. Can say electoral proviso ire, provisional electoral council. Thirty other candidates commented the election as controlled, disregarding public trust. The lack of voter turnout has been a major issue for Haitian elections, as only approximately 15% of eligible voters will vote in an election. CEP does not release data about turnout in elections, however, according to unofficial population clocks, official census data, and electoral data. Only 15.94% of all Haitians voted in this election. Proper rejection of votes had been a problem lately, as 7.71% of all votes are rejected according to CEP. Political corruption is a common problem in Haiti. The country has consistently ranked as one of the most corrupt nations according to the Corruption Perceptions Index, a measure of perceived political corruption. In 2006, Haiti was ranked as the most corrupt nation out of the 163 that were surveyed for the index. In 2012, Haiti was number 165 out of number 176. The International Red Cross reported that Haiti was 155th out of 159 countries in a similar survey of corrupt countries. French has been the major language in Haitian politics since the colonial era. Scholars have since referred to Haitian Creole, the other language of Haiti is linguistically inferior. Creole grammar is said to be simplified and lacking sophistication compared to its European ancestors. This original demotion of the language created a subordinate socio-political, economic, and biological status for the country's majority that had been relocated by slavery. Today, Creole is spoken by 90-95% to of the country. The remaining are bilingual and speak both French and Creole. Per the 1987 Constitution, both Creole and French are official languages of Haiti. However, French is still the main language taught in schools and used in politics. With only 2 to 5% speaking the language of the politics, Creole speakers are politically disenfranchised. Haitian Creole and French are mutually unintelligible, so the vast majority of citizens cannot communicate with leaders in the language of their choice.
rights. This disenfranchisement is further aggravated by the lack of a systematic educational system. Literacy programs failed in the 1980s, and French is still the language being used to instruct students. Haitian linguist, Yves de Jean, recalls warnings posted in the principal's office forbidding the use of Creole. In the 1970s, only 1% of the children who entered kindergarten stayed on track to obtain state certificate at the end of the sixth grade. Even after the literacy programs of the 1980s, 90% of the teachers 10 years after the decree were still not able to fully integrate the Creole language into the education system. The language handicap makes education and furthermore, political enfranchisement almost impossible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.